Yay! Welcome to ranking Genshin characters at a slumber party. A few weeks ago, I made a ranking Genshin characters at a house party list. What is the opposite of a house party? A sleepy party. Really quick, let me go over the categories I have. Up at the top, we have the ultimate prankster. Ghost storyteller, didn't sleep, paranoid about getting pranked, didn't sleep, amped on sugar, dramatic spin the bottle circle, responsible one taking care of the others, slept at a reasonable hour in another room, fell asleep first, got pranked, got in a fight with another party goer, parent had to intervene, and mom, I'm scared, come pick me up. All right, let's get into it. As per usual, starting with Aether. What age group are we pretending they are really quick? I get, like some of these categories are, suggest that they're children. I'm imagining like middle schooler Aether and what that would entail. He's giving kind of like quiet kid, but he still is nervous about getting pranked. Like he cares, he wants to seem cool. He doesn't want the shaving cream up his nostrils or whatever the kids do these days. Albedo on the other hand does not give a hootily do and he went to sleep at a reasonable hour in another room because he's smart and knows that if he falls asleep in the main, all right, we gotta set the scene. We gotta set the scene really quick, okay? Whoever's house we're at, maybe we're at the Kamisato estate, I don't know. There's a giant living room with a bunch of sleeping bags everywhere you know everyone picks a corner there's a giant tv and, and popcorn and snacks the parents are upstairs if anyone needs something if there's an emergency so if that's the case instead of sleeping in the main room with everybody else albedo would be like i'm gonna go sleep in the spare bedroom i'm gonna say that aloy also sleeps in a different room she has like intuition to not put herself in a, a dangerous situation falling asleep in the main room Ooh, amber for some reason i was getting the like that girl who suggests we watch a horror movie, but also that girl who suggests we play spin the bottle. I think she's the initiator in this circumstance. Ito, I want to say he's a prankster. Well, <laughs> I could also see that. He's either pranking people, he's doped up on pixie sticks, or he just accidentally conked out at 8 p.m. and had Sharpie drawn all over his face. What do I do? All right, I have a couple other people in mind that might be better pranksters or fell asleep first. So I'm gonna say Ito's amped on sugar, bouncing off the walls. He's like, you guys wanna hear a story? You guys wanna hear a story? And everyone's like, oh my God, it's six o'clock in the morning. We haven't slept yet. Barbara is horrified. All right, Bar okay, Barbara's that girl who goes to the slumber party knowing she won't spend the night. She's like, I'd love to be here, but unfortunately I have to leave at 8 p.m. Um, I have to be at church in the morning, so. All right, Beido, Beido, oops. Beido is one of these that's giving prankster. I She, definitely brought like a 12 pack of sharpies and a bunch of colors <laughs> she's devious bennett is either amped up on sugar or he fell asleep first there's no in between i'm gonna put bennett and amped up on sugar i feel like he doesn't get invited to stuff like this very often and he would be so excited to be here he doesn't want to sleep chong yoon wants to go home he is terrified and he doesn't like all the the heat of all these people crammed into one room d luke fell asleep first and got pranked he has not been to enough sleep sleepovers to know the law that you should not be the first one to sleep or else you're gonna get pranked. He doesn't know. He doesn't have the sense of Albedo and Aloy to go in the other room. No, no, no. He's like, I must get my beauty rest so I can be responsible and wake up at a decent hour. And <laughs> He just like puts on a sleeping mask and goes to bed while everyone else is so rowdy in the background. Boy woke up with his hand in a bowl of hot water. Ooh, Diona got in a fight with another party goer. Has this ever happened to any y'all? Cause I, oh my God, I had a sleepover for my second grade birthday party and two of my friends got into a fight about which movie we were gonna watch. It was between The Lion King and The Road to El Dorado. My mom was in the other room and she's like, what's going on? But yeah, she would definitely be involved in some shenanigans and get in trouble. And she would too. Eula and Tyona having a scrap. Wait, that would be so funny. Fischl is telling ghost stories, but hers are like really strange. <laughs> Ganyu got talked into playing spin the bottle. She's the shy girl who's like, no, I, I don't know. And Amber's like, come on, it'll be so fun. Eula probably would have gotten talked into it as well if she wasn't getting in a fist fight with a child, so. Oh my God, Goro also got talked into spin the bottle. <laughs> oh no. We all know who Toe is telling ghost stories, of course. She's kind of on thin ice of being a prankster, but you know, these two top categories are sort of one and the same. Temptation to put Jean in responsible one taking care of others, but I don't, I don't 
don't think so. I think she would go into another room and sleep early. Hazuha, on the other hand, I think would be the mediator. Somebody in the spin the bottle circle is gonna end up crying and Kazuha is gonna be there. There, there, it's okay. Kaya is, he is gonna be in the prankster category. All right, he might play spin the bottle, yes. But no, he's got bigger fish to fry. And that is pranking D. Luke. This is his only mission in this lifetime. Ayaka also has not really been to many sleepovers and she's really nervous about being here. And I'm gonna say she's paranoid about getting pranked because she's heard tales from her brother or something about the lore of sleepovers. Kitching is taking care of others, but not in the like, there, there, it's okay. But in the, um, it's 10 o'clock, lights out, you know, <laughs> that kind of. Klee didn't sleep because she is amped on sugar. This is, oh my God. I'm so sorry to whoever has to deal with these three to sleep over. I feel so sorry for you. Sara is a more severe version of Kaching. She's like, turn the lights off now. Oh my God. You're not allowed to eat snacks after dark. Lisa is also a spin the bottle instigator. Lumine, okay, Lumine got talked into spin the bottle because everyone wants to kiss her. And Ayaka's like looking on from the other side of the room like, why didn't I play with them? Why do I feel like Mona would also be a good ghost storyteller? I don't know, people who have this sort of like fantastical speech pattern, I feel like would be good storytellers. This is out of left field. Ningguang is also telling ghost stories and people don't expect it. She's like lurking in the shadows and everyone's like all freaked out from Hu Tao's story and Ningguang's like, would you like to hear another tale? And everyone's like, whoa, where'd you come from? <laughs> Noelle, responsible, taking care of others. She's helping, you know, prepare the tea time snacks. Would anyone dare prank Chi Chi if she fell asleep first? I think she just conked out in the bathroom or something. She's just a sleepy gal. A also fell asleep early and got pranked. I, I feel so bad putting her there. It's these kind of like serious people who are maybe naive to like the rituals of slumber parties. Razor had way too many Snickers bars and is amped up. Him and Bennett are just having a heyday right now. Why do I feel like Ito would get along with these two very well? <laughs> Rosaria's giving come pick me up. I'm scared, but not in the like, ah, I'm scared, but in the like, I hate it here. Please, God, come pick me up. Get me out of here. Kokomi is, as I've mentioned a few times, a bit of an anxious queen. I'm gonna say she's paranoid about getting pranked and she wants to sleep, but she just is having a hard time falling asleep. Also, she's haunted by the visions of Goro playing spin the bottle. Unfortunately, Sayu did not have the foresight to fall asleep in another room, and she just accidentally fell asleep and definitely got pranked. All right, we need more tributes for the spin the bottle circle. I'm gonna put Shenha there because she thinks it's um, a novelty. Sucrose is horrified. She can't find Mr. Albedo. He's been asleep since 8.30 p.m. She does not know what to do with herself. Tartaglia is all over the spin the bottle circle. Oh, okay, honestly, I can't tell which one of these two initiated spin the bottle, Amber or Tartagles. Toma, he's responsible taking care of others. Him and Noel are procuring the consumables. Venti could go in a couple different categories. He could be a prankster. He could be a ghost storyteller. And I can also kind of see him being amped up on sugar. I'm gonna say Venti is telling ghost stories, but like in a musical fashion. I get the sensation that Xiangling is also in this amped on sugar category. She's just going buck wild in the next room and that's why Noel and Toma have to pick up the slack and make the snacks. Chow got dragged into spin the bottle. That's his nightmare. He is like shrinking into a little ball every time that bottle gets anywhere near his direction. And it lands on him and he's like, oh, I think my mom's calling me, hold on. Chow, you don't have a cell phone. Oh, I heard her yelling through the window. I'll be right back. He like jumps out. Out the window. Where are you going? Hear me out. Think Joe? Prankster. Once Chong Yun left the function, all hell broke loose. He's got his wits about him. I'm gonna say Jin Yan would want to participate and spin the bottle perhaps as well. It seems like a fun party activity. All right. I'm gonna swap. Venti is gonna be the innocent prankster, and Yai is gonna be the ghost storyteller. Yanfei feels like she'd be responsible in this situation. Okay, next up is Yoimiya. This is tough. All right, I'm just gonna say a lot of this is just, I feel like a lot of these characters could fit into multiple categories. I'm having a really hard time with this. We're throwing Yoimiya in the spin the bottle circle as well. We need to come up with a scenario once we have everybody here. What, what happened? What happened? Who ended up crying to Kazuha after the circle game? Unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, I think that Yunjin fell asleep first and got pranked. She seems a little sheltered to me. Oh, Zhongli definitely fell asleep first and got pranked. He does not know the rules of the sleepover. Someone wrote Osmantha's wine across his forehead. Underdog prankster. Mr. Ayato Kamisato. He pulls like the ultimate prank and everyone's like, who did that? And he just like smirks and disappears into the shadows. Shinobu's gonna get put in responsible, but only because she is watching after Ito, who is just annoying everybody in his proximity. Yelon feels like she would also argue with somebody. She's an instigator. I don't think she would lose a fight if she were in it. Honestly, it might be Eula too. Heizo would not pass up an opportunity to play spin the bottle. He's also wise enough to not get pranked. I think he would not let himself fall asleep first. Tignati fell asleep in another room at a reasonable hour. Hale did not sleep because she's paranoid about getting pranked. Dory is pranking other individuals by stealing their money, which isn't so much of a prank as it is a theft, but you know. Candace is being responsible and uh, playing lookout for some reason. I don't know what she's looking out for, but she's looking out. All right, here's here's another little scenario. I think Sino is getting in an argument with Alhatham. I don't, this isn't surprising, honestly. It's really not, but they were playing TCG and Alhatham cheated or something. I don't know. Sino just yelled at him and then they just well, got into a scrap. They're having a duel in the backyard. <laughs> Parents are like, hey, no weapons. No weapons at the slumber party. Put them down. I feel like Nilu would be Oh, how fun when they're playing spin the bottle. Let me participate. Layla fell asleep first and got pranked, but she doesn't care. She really, this happens to her all the time. Ooh, Nikita, ghost storyteller. I can sense it. Her stories are very disconcerting. <laughs> Farzan fell asleep in the other room maybe would argue with somebody she's gonna be good she's gonna be good today uh oh <laughs> speaking of people who aren't gonna be good what do i do with you who you fighting who you fighting or did he prank someone so hard that the mom got called in <laughs> i kind of like that scarabosh pranked someone so hard that someone ended up in tears and the parent had to get called in and they like called his mom who did you make cry yao yao is that like responsible little kid who knows that like when her bedtime is and she's like yep i i, I have to abide by this it's the law <laughs> what if dia is the one who got into a fight with yelon i can kind of see that mika wants to go home so bad what if scaramosh is the one who pranked him <laughs> what's a horrible prank what's a prank that scaramosh did that is just so devious he cut off his bird feather hair thing <laughs> that's so mean he shaved off one of his eyebrows he broke his crossbow and threw it out the back window. Baiju, I'm sorry, but you're on medical duty in case, you know, <laughs> Mika needs his broken arm fixed because Scaramouche went too far. Kave also is a very strong contender for fell asleep first got pranked. While Alhatham's not the one who did it, he definitely was like winking at, uh, let's see, Kaya to pull the trigger for him, you know, you know? And Kirara, um, she, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, by the way. You know, she's new here. She wants to uh, meet people, so she's gonna play spin the bottle. And everyone's gonna be like, ooh, who's, who's the new girl? Wow. All right, Amber starts it spins the bottle she gets goro who immediately is blushing he's terrified oh my god she gives him a, a peck on the cheek okay now it's goro's turn is this how this game works goro spins he gets ganyu both of them are so shy they don't know what to do she's so embarrassed she runs away crying kazuha snags her on the back porch well there there it's okay cut to yoimi and Hazel making out <laughs> no <laughs> Chow's already jumped out of the window like an hour ago. And the next morning, they all wake up to French toast and cinnamon rolls. Everyone gets picked up by their mom, except Bennett, who gets left behind. Oh, that's so sad. The parents are already cleaning up the house, and you're the only one there, and you're just kind of like, I can go. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, wait. I just had another theory. One prank that I think is pretty common at sleepovers is, is like prank calling people, either strangers or like other classmates or something. Honestly, I feel like Venti would be in that realm of 
prank calling companies and be like, is your, is your fridge running? <laughs> Go catch it. You know, stupid jokes. Yes, love it. Gotta have it. Beautiful. This one was so just anyone could be anywhere, honestly. So feel free to leave your personal headcanons in the comments below. What do you think Kokomi would be doing? Where would Xiao run when he jumped out of the window? Any personal anecdotes from your previous slumber party experiences are also welcome. And if you have any future tier list ideas, feel free to leave those in the comments as well. I love to read your ideas. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.